company. I am a philosopher, Dr. An, from Korea. Today's lecture 10, Korean Thought Emperor Nauna and Socrates' Life, Apology Analysis. Uh, look at the picture. Korean Throat Emperor Nauna's performance. He is very famous in Korea. On September 30, 2020, KBS 2 broadcast Chuseok Entertainment show featured the Korean Throat singer Nauna. The show, titled Nauna Korean Magazine for Chuseok Festival 2020, drew a huge response of 29% viewer ratings. Composed of the two hours and the 23 minutes of playing and talking, the special episode of Nauna touched people's sorrow and suffering from the coronavirus in instant. But not only his gem like the songs, but also his comments suggested a very significant fact about the Korean circumstances. In the Nauna concert, he sent a message to the nation before he sang the final song, Man. Now I refuse to edit or advertise in the program and made the actual remarks during the live broadcast. He said as follows. First, KBS, the Korean broadcasting station, we reborn as a national broadcaster. Second, the sacrifice of doctors, nurses, and the medical staffs was crucial to overcome the coronavirus. The third, even in the history books, I didn't see the king or president risking his life for the people. It is the power of you, the people that has kept the country. The Korean people are the best in the world. This means that the overcoming of a corona infection in Korea was not due to the government or the president, but to the people as governed, even if President Moon Jae-in insists on his achievement in controlling corona infection. Look at the uh, picture. And the Dahuna's 20, uh, 2020 song, the Tessa brother, strangely refers to the philosopher Socrates. This is today's uh, theme of philosophy. The lyrics is as follows. I am laughing my head off, then I bury my pain in the laughter. I'm just uh, thankful that you are here today. I'm afraid of tomorrow, which must needs come after my death. Oh, what's wrong with the word test? Why is it so hard? Ah, test. Socrates, what's wrong with your love? Why do you say no yourself? I don't know. I don't know. Broad test. It is very rare to cite a philosopher in a pop song like this. However, Korean singer Nahuna turned it into an art form. Here, Socrates saying Know Yourself is originally a prestigious inscription carved on the stone tablet of the Pronas, the front yard of Apollo Temple in Del Delphi, Greece. Because Socrates has quoted it many times, nevertheless, he was often regarded as the first to say it because Socrates has quoted it many times. It would also return that the phrase nothing to excess and the surety brings ruin. It seems to me that when you go up to the temple, make sure to take your tribute and take it according to your means. Socrates and Plato also use this word to mean control yourself or don't go beyond yourself. Uh, this picture is uh, Nauna's album Jackie. This is uh, strange. Uh, the, and the right side picture is a black umbrella. This uh, symbolized election fraud in Korea 2024-15. Black umbrella demonstration protest against election fraud in Korea. It's a sad situation in Korea. In addition, this is the philosophical and the political situation that Nauna's test brother implies. First of all, the album jacket is unusual, standing in a black long coat with a black umbrella. We are reminded of the April 15, 2020 election fraud, the biggest issue in Korea, and the black uh, protest, a symbol of the resistance against it. The lyrics, I am afraid of tomorrow, which 
must needs to come after my death also reflect the pessimism which resulted from the huge election fraud in Korea. We are turning to philosophy. Socrates' Apology is a book by Plato. In fact, Socrates is accused of the moral depravity and the impiety in Athens. And Plato's work is the defendant's final statement before the trial. Uh, we look at the uh, picture, the death of Socrates by uh, Jack Lewis David. In particular, the problem was that lies were claimed as truth and the lies open one in court. The Socrates trial was like that. Of course, that's happening to us now. It's the case for how long the justice system, the trial system can be unrighteous under democracy. The Socrates trial is therefore not the story of the distant past, but the story of our modern times in Korea. Before entering the trial scene, let's take a look at the social trends of time. At that time, greed and lies were lampant in Greece, and it was a common practice to kill political opponents with intrigue. But in Korea, strangely enough, politicians are dying of alleged suicide. And no matter how simple or bad you are, you are innocent if you are good at defense. And on the contrary, even if you live a good life like Socrates and you lead the young people in good ways, you can be severely insulted and eventually killed, which was the Greek democratic society of BC 4 to 5. In this situation, Plato hated democracy. It was in the early days of democracy and it was still not settled by the constitution and the system. In this state, people called the sophists came out and acted as educating or selling the birch. For example, it was the Athenian society of the 15th century BC, in which a person with a large debt could not pay his debt through clever tricks and arguments. They were also worshipped and so many parents were looking for sophists, paying high tuition fee to help their children learn that ability. One sophist even boasted that he had quickly amassed the wealth through private education even in poor areas. Sophists were either teachers or private institute instructors at the time. Socrates was like a stone to their eyes. He was the one who interfered with the businesses. Also to poets and the craftsmen, he was aiming to speak ill of them. Finally, Socrates became a public enemy and drank poison. The accusers and the prosecutors in his trial were in two groups. Accusers of the two clans. First, all the accusers, the people who should Socrates were made up of two kinds of people. In other words, there have been people who have long criticized and accused him. One of the most representative was a comedic writer of the time, Aristophanes. He criticized Socrates for taking a look at what is in the sky, exploring everything in the earth, and telling people the wrong theory as if it were the right thing to do. Socrates refused the, the accuser by saying, I'm not a natural philosopher, or I'm not a person who talks about matter. The natural philosopher of the time, uh, Thales, for example, said that the source of the all things is water. Natural philosopher Anaxagoras appeared in the Apollo's conversation. At that time, natural philosopher were perceived as a, a theist. But Socrates' interest was not nature. His interest was mainly the concept of the justice or virtue, which was the basis for human behavior. And it was to explore the right values of the national community. He taught young men to live for righteousness rather than wealth. Next reason the public was angry at Socrates was the reputation that Socrates is wise. In other words, the public was jealous that he was pretending to be smart. The reason of this public 
notoriety was due to knowledge of ignorance or Socratic wisdom. It is simply described as I know, I don't know. Or I know only one thing that I know nothing. The source of Socratic wisdom lies in the fact that Socrates hears from Delphi's oracle that he is the wisest person in the world. But he did not immediately acknowledge it, and he missed the wise men of the time and asked them why they are the wisest men of the time. The problem is that when Socrates meets the politicians, the poets, and the craftsmen of the society and ask them what their excellence, they can't explain it. For example, if we ask a poet who wrote a wonderful poem about the meaning of the poem, it appears that he wrote it without knowing what it, uh, it meant. But what I would like to add is that all of this Socrates exploratory activity was actually to carry out God's will, all the trust he had heard in his youth. He was a, a solo going religious man. He always o obeyed God's voice, or the sound of the diamond from the inside, and did even the small things according to God's voice. An accuser named Meletus accused him. This man of being a theist, it is truly uh, uh, abominable. When Socrates asked the famous man of his time what the virtue is, they couldn't answer it. This is called the Socratic Elenchus. It turns out that the famous politicians, craftsmen, the sophists of the time were talking like they were very informed, but they didn't really know the concept of what they were talking about. Through this, Socrates was in the spotlight of young people. Young people gathered around the Socrates' criticism of the older generation. And this kind of the Socratic argument aroused massive anger. The young man who mimicked the technology criticized even uh, their parents' arguments. Because of this, Socrates was uh, hated for corrupting young people and uh, had to be executed. And what's scary about the Socrates, along with the popular hatred represented by Aristophanes, was the people who are now showing him. There are three representative characters. It was Meletus, Aritus, and Recon. Meletus represents the writer and the poet. Aritus represents the craftsmen and the politicians. And Recon represents the orators. But Meletus is not an independent accuser or prosecutor, but rather an instrument of uh, anitus, a wealthy reputation. Socrates' legal opponent is uh, mainly Meletus. The reason for this charge was the moral debris of the young, young people and uh, blasphemy. Meletus, the plaintiff's legal representative, pleaded guilty to Socrates, saying he believed no God or believed no God recognized by the state and committed a crime as a result. But as mentioned above, Socrates was a solar religious person who personally believed in and obeyed the God of the diamond. A diamond was not a strange falling God, but a God recognized by the essence at the time. Therefore, Meritus and the plaintiff will fail completely in the complaint. At the God's command, he kept his military position until the end, even in times of danger when enemies invaded the battlefield. He also said, I lived by God's command, taking care of myself and others. But the jury rules in favor of the plaintiff. It was because of many people's jealousy and the slander. These are the reasons for Socrates' appeal largely dependent on Plato's apology. This showed that the weakness of the democracy, even though it is a good institution, against the common opinion that Socrates disliked democracy, I myself don't think so. However, his pupil Plato disliked democracy evidently. Hitler or Germany also used democracy to achieve Nazi dictatorship. Yes, democracy can be uh, misused.
Okay, we see a beautiful temple, uh, the temple of the Delphi. The words of this temple were inscribed with the inscription, Know thyself. Socrates also shares an oracle in the temple. Socrates is the uh, smartest man, man in the world, from the uh, priestess. Socrates the first didn't understand the, the, the oracle. Therefore, he visited many famous persons in order to investigate the validity of it. Then he came to know that the alleged wise persons bring being ignorant. The oracle was proved true. This caused the envy and you know, anger among people at the time. The difference between the alleged intellectuals and the Socrates was that the former knew nothing about the nature of the virtue as though they claimed to be wise and their, the latter admitted not to know it. That's why Socrates understands the Delphi Oracle. Socrates is the wisest at the time. Socrates does come to his, this conclusion. I thought to myself, I am wiser than this man, for neither of us really knows anything fine or good. But this man thinks he knows something when he does not. Whereas I, as I do not know anything, do not think I do either. I think then, in just this little thing, to be wiser than this man at any rate, that what I do not know, I do not think I know either. Young people do not learn from Socrates, but in the relationship with him, they became rich in ideas. So Socrates says to the, to the students, you are giving birth to many great things on your own. Young people was, were able to develop their own critical points and creative thinking by seeing their mentor Socrates refuted the establishment. This is called the Socrates Elenchus, which also leads to a moment of creativity that is midwife of Socrates. But this the series of events caused him to drink an unjust poison. He was executed for instigating an uh, impure ideology in the eyes of the uh, establishment at that time in the society for moral depravity of the young people. However, Meletus' accusation did not uh, provide any evidence or witness. Rather, the court was filled with Plato and the other disciples, and they could not accept the unfair judgment of their uh, teacher. They asked Socrates to bail out and avoid the death penalty, but Socrates finally obeyed the state and the law according to his belief. His philosophy, his love of wisdom, his love of death, passion for morality and justice have become a mother for Plato and many other future generations and a cornerstone for future Western philosophy. And as you can see in the Socrates trial, democracy can have many flaws, even though it is the best political system in history. The justice system and the judicial system under democracy can also be contaminated. It's like the South Korea justice minister has called for an extension of his son's military leave by phone, and the prosecution has declared him of the charge. Socratic Elinkus and the midwifery are all done through dialogue. During this conversation, young people were able to break away from the outdated customs and the stereotypes, and they could develop their own original ideas. As a result, Socrates' disciples formed the foundation for a total of five major philosophical schools in ancient, including the Plato Academy. First, the Megaria School. Second, Eilan school, third, cynicism, kinicism, fourth, fourth, Kirenia school. So far, so good. That's the end of my lecture.